0405. I'm at Team Tongana in Cape Town. So you now about a land restitution claim that goes back to the late 1990s involving five communities and the Kruger National Park. Now one of those communities are the Madonsi people who also are now waiting for a settlement of a land which rightfully they say belongs to them. Now communication between government and the various communities has not been the greatest over the years. Let's get an update on the situation and we're joined now by one of the trustees of the Madonzi Trust, Richard Miambu, who's joining us by phone, I believe, tonight. So thankful for your time on News at Prime. So your land claim process dates back to 1998. As things sit now, or things stand now, are you closer or further from a settlement? Hello? Mr. Miambu, are you able to hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, fantastic. Tembe here. I was asking if you are today closer or further from a settlement over this piece of land. Um, yes, ma'am. We are having a big problem about what is happening in South Africa. So what I can say to you the poor of the poorest are suffering worse than before because the people who are supposed to help are making things worse. We, since from 1998, uh, we claim a piece of land in Kruger National Park. So these people, they have been dark and diving about this. Um, they came up with efficiencies which they didn't implement. They tried by all means to do it on their, on their own and, and impose it to us when we reject it. You know, they are trying by all means to push us out, mm. which means they are instructing us. At the same time, they are making business on our land. We are benefiting nothing from it. So that is the very, very, very big problem from our, our community. That is the land of our forefathers. Who is trying to push you out? Um, let me say the officials of the government. We tried by all means, Kruger National Park officials, the rural officials, and D and DEFS officials, because we complain from them, but they are doing nothing about. It. That's why we are saying they all these people they are together. They are playing hide and seek. Mm -hmm. So that is a very, very big problem. Most of our community, most of the people who started this, they passed away. Mm -hmm. And we have got, uh, you know, Limpopo is a place where there is no job in most of the time. Not in most of, there is no, we have got uh, millions of youth who are not working. We are capable to start our own project, but these uh, Sun Park people, they are denying us an opportunity to do business. Mm -hmm. So just to be clear, sir, in 2019, government, you reference government, Minister Barbara Creasy and others had said that they wanted a mediator appointed. A mediator was indeed appointed. And then that mediator this year said they were no longer available to assist. Do you think you can continue with this process without a mediator? You know, it's unbelievable. They, they hired a mediator. That mediator took six months without, meet, without meeting the claimant. At the same time, so he resigned. I don't know, they paid him for nothing. If it is to say they paid him, they paid him for nothing. So, it, you know, 
what is really it's unbelievable. Our own government, who are playing the poor of the poorest, but at the same time they are acting like as they take care of the poor of the poorest. They are don't care about the poor of the poorest. In, in Kruger National Park, um, when we start this, they promised us that we are going to have a beneficiation scheme which is going to have this equitable redress. They are going to hire our kids. They are going to give us a business uh, platform in Kruger National Park. But what they promised us not Today, nothing is happening. Yeah. Uh, we never benefited from, let me say, from 2016 till today. We got not even a single single child who have been employed in Koga National Park. So, so what we are trying to say now, it's better if they can settle our land uh, with a current land value. And then we depart, we can take our way. They settled this with 610 rand per hectare. It's unbelievable in Kruger National Park. Mm. This is a daylight robbery. 610 rand in Kruger National Park. This really is a robbery, daylight robbery. So even today, I'm from the meeting with the community. The community are crying. One of the good day, I think all of these uh, old ladies and old old men, we are going to sit in, in, in or we are going to sit on the gate of Kruger National Park. Maybe they will take us seriously. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, it's disgusting. Let me put it like that. The way it's happening. So you're saying that you could possibly embark on a protest of some kind where you basically stay just sitting at the gate of the Kruger National Park. Are you at this point losing hope that this issue will be settled? You know, we have lost the hope. That's why I'm saying I think it can be better if they can settle, they can buy us out. Because... You know, let me give you an example. They settled the Malamala people, the Malamala land, with 75,000 rand. And on our side is 610. Look at the gap. So we are frustrated now. The people, the old people, the old ladies, you know, they are crying. Some of the people, they think we as an executive, we as a trust members, we are using their money, we are eating their money. So by so doing, they caused a division. Okay. There is a fight uh, amongst the, 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 the communities. Today Richard Miambu from the Madonzi Trust. Good to speak to you, sir. I wish we could speak longer, but we are out of time for now. Thank you for your time. We'll be touching base with you and hopefully uh, the various entities involved in the land restitution pro process as far as your claim over the coming days. Thank you for now. Coming up to 9 o'clock, much more news for you with the news PM, the latest, in fact, in a moment.